I'm really excited because I got some really, really cool stuff to show you guys. I went to Retrocon yesterday with my boyfriend. I cosplayed as Vaporeon. Um, you might have seen a makeup look for that cosplay I did. Um, shoot through my Instagram today. Uh, I will insert some pictures of my look in this video and they will also be on Instagram of course so just just go to my Instagram. It, you should go to my Instagram anyway because I'm still on my 40 days of makeup challenge so you're looking at today's look as well right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just jump right in. Um, first of all, I got a really cool 2017 calendar of BAM Family Guy. And they had different ones. They also had a Pokemon one. Um, one of the, like the cat, it's like a cartoon cat. It's all of the internet. I don't know what it's called. Push in, push in that. And um, also from Adventure Time, and I'm a really, really big Adventure Time fan, so I would, I would have loved to get that. But then my boyfriend was like, look at the back and look at what the calendar actually looks like. So then I turned it around, and this is what the individual months look like. My birthday is in June, and this is the picture of June for June. So when I saw that, it was pretty, the choice was already made, like, I got, I had to have this one. I just think it's really just nice and convenient to just have it, you know, either hanging over my desk or in my room or whatever, just to be a little more organized because I'm a hot, hot ass mess. Okay, um, then I got some, oops, scooting the camera. Then I got some comics, which I'm really happy about. Um, I got comics from the X-Men, from Deadpool, and from Gwenpool, and you might think are you messing with me? Gwenpool? Who the fuck's Gwenpool? First of all, uh, Gwenpool is very an unknown character. And Gwenpool is basically if we, without superpowers, without anything, end up in the Marvel Universe. She is the biggest fan of superheroes. She knows everything. She knows just everyone's name, everyone's weakness, everyone, just everything. And this is what she looks like. The Unbelievable Gwenpool, and this is number two, so this is what it looks like, I paid four bucks for it, so it wasn't that expensive, and I'm just really interested in getting to know this character, because people say that she has, she does have Harley Quinn's crazy psycho personality, so that would be cool. Um, I got Deadpool and the Mercs for money number two. So I also paid four bucks for this one, so I'm really excited because I just think Deadpool is like the most human superhero because he's not a superhero kind of guy. And he's really relatable and that's why I just I'm, I just love him and maybe because in the mainstream movie he was played by Ryan, Ryan Reynolds and I'm kind of having a crush on him. So that and then I got two numbers or issues that actually follow each other up. So I got number, I want to say this right, number nine and number ten. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. These were both five bucks and I am just also like really excited to start reading these and I wanted to start yesterday but yesterday I came home from the convention and I was beat, I was tired, I was fucked the fuck up. I was just done with that day so I just went to bed and I just gave up. Uh, so the next issues I got are all from the X-Men but they're in Dutch. So I'm not too sure about how I'm gonna feel about that yet, but it is number 41, number 39, number 121, and last but definitely not least, number 32. So the reason I got these is because I wanna investigate on 
investigate. I want to look into Storm's persona more because she is the next one I am thinking about cosplaying and I hate cosplaying a character that I do not know anything about. I don't want to like look like a jackass when anyone asks me like who are you, what's your backstory and whatever. Um, I also got this really cute um, pin uh, with a Vaporeon on it. I got it from my boyfriend. It was like so cute and I will insert a picture because it is on my jacket right now so I'm not gonna run downstairs and get it because I'm lazy as fuck so <laughs> I'll just insert a picture and you'll you'll see it's really cute it's really adorable it's just awesome now this might be the coolest thing I ever bought and this might be the actual essence of my youth. What I have in my hands right here are the original Pokemon badges. Yes, they're all in there and they're all just identical to the idea. And I'm 20 years old right now, so for me, every day when I came out of school, it was turn on the TV, drop down in front of it, and just watch Pokemon until your eyes burn. It was my thing, it was what I grew up with, so to be able to find these, to be able to buy these, and to actually get ones that just look good, they're good quality, they just, if you would have imagined Pokemon badges to actually be a thing, and to actually be in the real life world, this is what they look and feel like so um yeah i think this is the end of this video i'm really happy that you guys are watching again thank you um if you want me to upload the photos or the videos i made yesterday just let me know in the comments down below keep an eye on my instagram because my cosplay will be on there i already have a picture of my makeup um, I had for yeah for my cosplay on my Instagram right now um, check out my Instagram anyway because I'm still in the middle of my 40 days of makeup challenge and right now you're looking at the look of today so it's really excited and yeah just let me know what you want my next video to be about share this video with everyone you like share this video with everyone you don't like just show the love just support me and we'll just yeah, it would just be cool. Be cool with me, okay? Just, yeah. Just do that. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. I'm on about your lady, Chelsea High Handler. Handler. Got your legs racing hard on vacation. Uh, no exaggeration.